This is CBS 2 News at 5. For decades, his job to size up dead birds like these. Now CBS 2's Venture Soli reports all those numbers from a Chicago scientist add up to a big discovery. For over 40 years in a field museum lab, David Willard's measured birds, dead birds. Over 70,000 at last count. Everything in this drawer has hit a building in Chicago. Killed by concussions, most are collected by volunteers and make their way into Willard's lab. We've been measuring the wing length, measuring the bill length, and then the leg length, and the weight. For each bird, he's painstakingly jotted down the information by hand in journal after journal. Still, Willard wasn't sure what to do with all that information. I feel like I'm a way better data generator than I am a data analyzer. But researchers at the University of Michigan flocked to his data, finding that over the years the birds were actually shrinking in size. Are we talking about massive changes? No, we're talking in some cases, you know, tenths of millimeters, but uh, across a big enough sample that, that it actually is meaningful. Overall, their length and mass has dropped about two and a half percent in that time. May I take the measure? Yeah. What would I have to look for? I'd have to get it you under the wing? Brace it. I'm not very good at it. Researchers conclude it's nature adapting to climate change. As the breeding grounds of these birds are getting warmer, it may be advantageous to be, to be smaller. Willard's records also found wing length increased by one percent, which could indicate birds are flying farther to find suitable places to breed. Climate change was barely discussed when Willard started taking notes. Now it's helping scientists interpret its impact. The more examples of what it's actually doing to wild populations of things, the more we'll be able to put it all together and have a better sense of what the future is going to look like. One of the next steps in this research is to examine the skeletons of these animals to see what that can tell us about the changes in bird populations and the world around us. At the Field Museum, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Fascinating. One of the main researchers who analyzed Willard's numbers studied under him at the Field Museum.